This is a replica of a mechanical calculator called Kerta. It's a pocket-sized mechanical calculator. You might be wondering, this one doesn't look like a pocket-sized device at all. This is because it's a 300% upscale version made with the FDM 3D printer. And this is a true size version. I will be performing some basic operations with the upscaled version. Let's have a close look up of the device. It consists of two parts, the lower part and the upper part. From the lower part, you can find eight input digits. From the upper part, you can find two registers. The black one is called result register. The silver one is called counter register. The result register has 13 digits, while the counter register has 6. To input the digits, you slide the slider to the desired value. For example, if we want to input number 42, we first input number 4, followed by number 2. So we have 42. Then, we rotate the crank by one full turn. And the input digits 42 will be accumulated to the result register. So we can read 42 from the result register. And since we rotate the crank by one full turn, we have the counter register go from 0 to 1, representing we rotate the crank by one turn. To perform addition operation, we just need to change the input to the second number. For example, in order to calculate number 42 plus number 68, we change the input from 42 to 68. Then, rotate the crank by another turn. Here, from the result register, we can read the result of 42 plus 68 is 110. Notice that we have two carry operations here, and the calculator perform it automatically. The subtraction can be done in a similar manner. We pull up the handle to the upper position, then turn the crank by another turn. This will change the input sign of the input digits. So we are calculating 110 minus 68, and the result, once again, is 42. After each operation, we can use another device called the clearing ring to reset all the digits. We start by lift up this upper part and turn the clearing ring by one full turn. This will set all digits to zero. Another important operation is called shifting registers. We can pull up the result and counter register and rotate it to, to a new position. Here, we move them from position 1 to position 3. We still have number 68 in the input register. But since we shift the result register, after we turn it by a full turn, the result register we have 6,800 rather than 68 because we shift the register. Similarly, the counter register is added by 100 rather than by 1. The two registers and those basic operations allow us to develop some fancy algorithms to perform various calculations.